Hello, in this video we're going to look at the joint characteristic function. It's really the characteristic function for a random vector as opposed to a random variable. So we're going to let x be this random variable vector with random variables x1 through xn. And we're going to define the joint characteristic function is um, and here, here's notation. So here this is my attempt at a script x or a bold x which is going to be a, a vector. And so you can put the, the script x here and then t1 through tk. You can actually make just call it t and indicate it's a vector also. Or you could explicitly write out x1, x2, x3 all the way to xk and then t1 through tk. And it's the expected value of e to the this summation here. Uh, where the t tj's are real. Um, the characteristic function always exists and it's very similar argument to the uh, univariate characteristic function. So we'll look at some theorems here. If you plug in 0 in all the t's it's equal to 1. You can kind of see that here. If all these t's are zeros, you get an exponent that's zero. e to the zero is one. Expect value one is one. That's what this is. Um, the modulus of the uh, joint characteristic function is less than or equal to one. It is uniformly continuous. And um, when you're taking transformations of random variables, so c1x1 plus d1 all the way up to ck times xk plus dk um, can be rewritten in terms of the original x where it's multiplied by this constant and it's uh, i t1 d1 plus i tk dk and here you're, you, it's c1 t1 ck tk so this is very similar to the uh, univariate characteristic function and then assuming that the absolute uh, joint moments as well as any lower order joint moments are finite um, then we can start uh, differentiating and so if we differentiate with with respect to the t's so n1 times n, and nk times and then reevaluated at zero then we get the expected value the you know the joint moment and that it's raised to the powers of what, however many times you differentiated or, or it's, you know, took the partial derivative with respect to that variable. And it's i to the n, or, you know, the sum of these n1 through nk. Um, if you only differentiate with respect to one of the t's, say you do it n times, and then evaluate it at zero, you just get the nth moment for that uh, component of that random variable you know times i to, to the n um, another thing with the joint moment if you plug all zeros except for one then you get the characteristic function for that variable so it's x, x1 t1 but it also works for any other combination so you could have t1 t2 and then all the rest are zero and then it's the joint moment joint characteristic function for x1, x2, or any combination. So the tj component is not zero. The rest are, then it's the j characteristic function, or the characteristic function for the j component. Um, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the characteristic function and then the PDF of a random vector. So if we know the characteristic function, we can back, you know, there's an inversion formula for the PDF. And if we know the PDF, well, we can derive the characteristic function by that expected value that we looked at earlier. Now, this is a characteristic function, but they also have a, a joint moment generating function defined very similar, but without the I in here. Um, and now the these two are related. So if you take the moment generating function and plug in I T1 through I TK, you get back the characteristic function. So a lot of the properties for the characteristic function, the joint characteristic function, also hold over for the moment generating function. Um, and that's all we're gonna do. We're not gonna prove much of this. I think um, we're just gonna jump into an example. 
We're going to look at the multinomial distribution, which is clearly a multivariate distribution. This is the density here. Um, all these x's are positive. Um, the x1 through xk, they sum to a, an n. And uh, the p1 through pk sum to 1. And that is the multinomial distribution. So that means um, uh, the, the joint characteristic function is defined like this. So you plug in e to the i t1 plus you know, i to the tk you know, times the oh, this constant. That should be an n right there. And then um, in factorial and then times these what you get over here now since this is the linear combination you can take them in and make it a product e to the i t1 x1 times e to the i t2 x2 etc and then come and then that is an x1 it's raised to the same power so then you can you can take all those into the p you know the respective and we're left with this. Um, another note is this summation is over all possible x such that that they're positive or non-zero I should say and that their sum is equal to n so it's all combinations. So there's there actually k summations with this restriction here and that one. Um, so now from here well this is um, just the binomial expansion for multivariate variables and so that's what this is um, so where you take this is there and then plus it's times each of those and that's it so that's the characteristic function for a multinomial distribution um, let's uh, take the partial derivatives of t1 through tk of our characteristic function that's this and then evaluate them all at zero so if we when we take the partial with respect to t1 then we get n times this n minus 1 and then times this which is uh it's going to be e to the i t1 um p1 okay so we get the n and we get this and that's times this you know n minus 1 but then when you do the when you take the partial with respect to you know of of uh, t2 then it's going to be in one out front and then times this you know raised to the n minus 2 times the derivative of t2 which is then going to be p2 e to the i t2 and so i ran out of room here so this this is where these numbers come from is from this each time you you take the partial it goes down by one we're doing this k times so we get i to the k and the chain rule gives us this back um, times you know each of the pk e to the i t k, and then this piece is this one, but we've you know uh, um, taken you know at times in in minus k. Now we want to evaluate this at the t's go to zero. Um, so all these e's drop out because the exponent is zero, so it's e to the one or e to the zero which is one so those all go away all these go away um, and we're left with this right here oh so when these go away we're left with p1 plus p2 plus pk well and those sum to one by definition that's how multinomials exist so this goes away that's why we're left with um, you know the the ends we got the k here and then we have those p's well since this is what's left over not, you know take away the the i that is the joint moment of x1 x2 through xk this is it that's the expected value of that uh, random variable okay well this is all i have for uh this little mini series as far as uh the formulas and theories and um, of uh, characteristic functions, moment generating functions, and factorial moment generating functions. Now I'm probably going to do 7, 8, 9, 
10 different examples illustrating the power of these uh, generating functions. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.